What's up, YouTube? It's Heretic here, and happy Halloween early on to everyone here as we take a look at a Halloween-themed deck based around two Pokemon, a Pumpkin and a Spider, Gorgeist and Ariados. So this Gorgeist is our featured attacker with 100 HP. For one Psychic Energy, Gorgeist has the Eerie Voice attack, which allows us to put two damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon, like a slightly weaker version of Trevenant Break's Silent Fear attack. And then for two Psychic Energy, we get Spirit Scream, which brings both active Pokemon down to 10 HP. Now to finish that off, we have Ariados' Poisonous Nest ability, which allows us to, once during our turn, use this ability to poison both active Pokemon unless we are up against a Grass Pokemon in either active slot. So if Ariados himself is active, then it won't affect him. It would poison Gorgeist, which is why we have Chaos Tower. We can point the uh, the top side towards us, which will prevent our Pokemon from becoming confused or poisoned. So we've got our supporting cast here. Computer Search is our uh, ace spec of choice. And then we have four Super Scoop Ups, just because I felt like doing something a little different than Floatstone or Switch. So four Super Scoop Ups are in the deck to be able to move and reuse our EXP shares as well that we'll get to. Four Max Elixirs. Gorgeist's attack requires two energy, so if you can Max Elixir onto a Pumpkaboo before it evolves, you can have your energy ready and set up to go when you evolve into Gorgeist. And then we have four Trainer Mail, four Ultra Ball, and four VS Seeker. All just pretty basic stuff. Our supporter line, we have three Sycamores and two Ns, two Lysanders, the basics there. If we have Hex, Getsis, Culrus, and AZ, all uh, pretty standard stuff to see in expanded format. We have one zero sick in the event that we were to run into Garbodor, and one teammates because we are running a bunch of single prize Pokemon. And quite frankly, Gorgeist dropping itself to 10 HP means there are going to be a lot of knockouts. We have three copies of the aforementioned Chaos Tower Stadium card to prevent Ariados from knocking our Gorgeist out when it attacks as well. And then two EXP shares, just again, another way to make sure that we can keep two energies on our Gorgeist and help stream those attacks. And then finally, we have nine Psychic Energy to round out the list. So only six Pokemon total, no Shamans, no Octillery, no form of Pokemon-based draw power. That might be a little bit on the scary side too, but this is Halloween that we're looking at after all. So let's go and take this thing for a ride. I guess it's fitting that we have a Gengar coin going on for a Halloween deck, even though that's not our Gengar coin. So let's see what we get here. We've got these Sableye sleeves and deck box to go with it. And of course we have our Mega Absol coin on our end. So we're going to end up with a Mulligan. We'll shuffle back in. And uh, another Mulligan. And another, okay, this is getting pretty scary indeed. All of these mulligans. Hey, we finally got one, all right. So we're gonna start with a spinner rack. Not exactly my first choice of a basic, but since we only play six basic Pokemon in this deck, what are you gonna do? All right, so he gets to draw an additional three cards and also goes first and so we see a Sableye. There's a Dimension Valley so let's see what it's just 20 damage okay so he's gonna attach a float stone and he plays an N all right I guess that's fine we didn't really have any more Pokemon and he didn't get to play too many cards before having to end away that massive hand he started with so I guess I can't really complain there so he puts a mega me or sorry a regular Mewtwo down. So it looks like he's running into an expanded version of Mega Mewtwo. Interesting. So we draw into a Pumpkaboo. So we can throw an energy on there, and we can throw. Oh, do we want to throw the EXP share over there? Uh, da, 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 da. We'll throw it up here actually. And then we will go ahead and Professor Sycamore for a fresh seven cards. Alrighty. So we're going to hit a Max Elixir here, which is going to miss, unfortunately. So we can do a Trainer's Mail. 
And we can just go ahead and grab this VS Seeker. And let's see here. I think we just go ahead and pass the turn. Really would have been nice to hit that elixir now that I look at this again. So we could use this energy to retreat Spinarak slash Ariados. So we see an Ultra Ball here. He discards a Mega Mewtwo X. Okay. And an N. Looks like he played that N. No, he discarded a D Valley or an Ultra Ball. I don't. There was another Ultra Ball. <laughs> don't listen to me. This is just scary. All right. So he grabs a Shaman. And he's going to do a five card setup there. We see a Mewtwo Spirit Link, another Mewtwo, and an evolution into Mega Mewtwo X. All right. Crazy to think about that. So a fighting energy goes on to that Mewtwo. And we see a Floatstone go on to Shaman, and there's a Professor Sycamore clean. Seven cards. I'd high five the dude, but it's online, so it's not really possible. You now we do see a Keldeo EX. And here is Claw Slash for 20 damage onto our spinner rack. So we can put another Pumpkaboo down. And we can let's see here. Maybe if we hit a uh maybe maybe we can hit a um Super scoop up here. Go ahead and throw an area dose on down and attach and evolve into Gorgeist. And we might actually just be better off spreading 20 damage everywhere here. We can VS Seeker for that Professor Sycamore. And we can play that. Okay. So we can go ahead and max elixir again and once again we're gonna fail, so we'll try again. Ugh, 0 for 3. Not good. And we do not have a method of switching. Alright, so we're just gonna put another pumpkaboo down. And I think we're just gonna go ahead and pass for now. Alright, so he plays another Mewtwo Spirit Link. We do see a psychic energy this time come down onto that Mega Mewtwo. See another Mewtwo EX. And he plays an N. Alright. Okay. So we draw a couple of Gorgeists. We draw Super Scoop Up, Computer Search, Lysander, plenty of stuff here. So, alright. I mean, that's fine. It's just Sableye. It's probably the thing we're least concerned with. Got some shiny Generations energy going on there. And he is going to flip two heads so he can fully charge that Mewtwo. We do see the third energy go there, and we see an energy go on to this Mewtwo. Now, we can knock that sucker out. We're going to Lysander this thing up, and then we're going to go ahead and do a Poisonous Nest here. And let's play the Super Scoop up. All right. Got it. We didn't have to computer search for an energy. So we can bring Gorgeist up now. Bench one of these things, throw an EXP share down right there, and then we can computer search a couple of things away to go find another psychic energy, get ourselves in a decent spot here. Go ahead and throw that on there, evolve into Gorgeist, and then we can use Spirit Scream to drop both of our active Pokemon down to 10 hit points. And then the Poison will knock out the Mewtwo. So we will claim two prize cards just like that. And we hit Getsis and Super Scoop Up. But more importantly, we get that massive attacker out of the, out of the way. And now we're a, we're a Claw Slash away from Knockout here. So he can go ahead and just take out Gorgeist, and we can move one of these energies onto our other Gorgeist now. And we can just bring this thing forward. Alright, so we get another one of those guys, and let's see. 
Do we want a Getsis here, or do we just want a Sycamore? Go ahead and play the Getsis. All right, and we hit two Versus Seekers out of there. He does have a Shaman, but he doesn't have room on his bench for it. So I could be okay with that. Ariados isn't going to help us here. So I think in this instance, we just go ahead and Eerie Voice here. We can spread damage all over the board. And if we can land a few of these attacks, we should be in a pretty good spot. Of course, if he Mega Evolves, he only needs one more energy to start launching an attack with that Mega Mewtwo. So we are going to want to try to capitalize on some of our draw power next turn. Alright, so he plays a Hex Maniac. So my guess is he's going to try to come in with the Mega Mewtwo. Instead, he uses Energy Hunt. So he gets one head, so he'll be able to get the third energy onto that Mewtwo that he's got sitting on his bench. So that will be fully charged, just awaiting the Mega Evolution now. And we can go ahead and play down the Chaos Tower, mainly just to bump that uh, Dimension Valley out of play. And then we can also go search for another Gorgeist. And we have a Sycamore here we can take advantage of. Okay, so we can do that. We can attach an energy to Gorgeist. And actually we can try to super scoop up here and conserve that, uh... yeah, conserve that uh, EXP share. So we'll go ahead and just bring this one up. Put that one on the bench. We'll use a Max Elixir since we can. And then we can also throw the EXP share down on there. And we're just going to Eerie Voice again here. So we'll get a whole bunch of damage spread out. And we can try to Lysander next round. And maybe bring that Keldeo out since that would be... That would be what would be coming out anyway with uh, Rush In. And we'd be able to... Um, Hopefully avoid a float stone. We do see the fourth energy go onto that Mewtwo. And we also be able to knock that thing out if we Lysander it. So he does energy hunt once again. He gets one, two heads. So he's going to get another Mewtwo. That, or that, other, that other Mewtwo is going to get a couple of energies here. And I think we just go in and knock this one out. So we're going to go ahead and evolve this benched uh, Pumpkaboo into Gorgeist. We can attach an energy up here. And we do have the Chaos Tower in place, so we can Lysander up this Mewtwo. And we can use Poisonous Nest to poison Mewtwo. And then we will Spirit Scream it down to 10 HP, and the poison will finish it off. And we'll claim two more prize cards. So we just need to find Lysander one more time to win this game. Let's see, we have not used a Versus Seeker. Oh, no, wait, yes, we have. Sorry, my bad. We've used two Versus Seekers. All right, so there is the expected end down to two cards. We do have the EXP share to get us out of this hole. And all right, so he's going to go ahead and drop the Dimension Valley so he doesn't need another energy to hit us. And we do see a Claw Slash here for a knockout. So we'll move an energy over to our other Gorgeist. And if we got two of, if we got two uh, Eerie Voices in, we would also win that way. So we're going to go ahead and attach an energy to Ariados here. And once again, we're going to bounce that Stadium. And we're going to go ahead and use Eerie Voice here. And next turn we would knock out both Sableyes, which would win us the game. So he does put another Sableye down. We do see a Dimension Valley come into play. 
But all he's going to do is claw slash us for 20 here, so we can use Eerie Voice to take both of those Sableyes out, and that will win the game. And our Halloween deck comes through as we claim two prize cards off a pair of Sableyes and win the game. So we, we've got this one down, and we're going to go ahead and go on to our next. Okay, so it looks like we're going against some kind of grass shenanigans here. Hopefully nothing as scary as Vespaquin Vile Plume. So we're not going to be going first. Alright, so once again we draw a mulligan, which is going to be pretty commonplace with this thing. Alright, so we do get a basic on our second draw. We get a Pumpkaboo. And we'll be able to start with that and see what our opponent flips over here. And it's a Celebi EX. Alrighty. And so we do see Hoopa. And Hoopa's going to come down and probably bring out some Mewtwo's. There they are. Yep. This is actually a little bit similar to what I like to do in my expanded Mega Mewtwo deck. So he puts a Skyfield down. We see a Psychic Energy go on to one of the Mewtwo's along with a Spirit Link. There's a Shaman set up for two. So we just finished playing against a Mewtwo and we get another one now. Now I'm merely guessing this is going to be Mega Mewtwo Y instead of X as he ends us out of a computer search. Alright, not sure how I feel about this hand. At least he's got enough stuff on the bench to where we can cover us. He puts a Ralts down. So it looks like uh, Gar or not Gardevoir. Well, maybe Gardevoir actually. Or Gallade is going to try to become a thing. We're going to go ahead and... Ugh, do we, have a, we do have an Elixir. You know, let's take the Ultra Ball. And then we'll Trainer's Mail again here. And I suppose we'll take an EXP share, because we don't really have much better to take. Alright, so we can Ultra Ball here, throw the two supporters, and we can go find, let's see, what do we want? Yeah, I think since we have the Elixir, we're going to go grab the Pumpkaboo. So we'll go ahead and play the Max Elixir. Get the energy over there. We'll add the EXP share. And then we'll go grab the Colrus so we can get a six card shuffle draw. Not too bad. Alright, so do another Trainer's Mail. We do find another Max Elixir. And then we can Ultra Ball here for a. Uh, uh, what do we? I think we go for the spinner rack here. Okay, and then we attach, and we will use confuse ray. All right, so a psychic energy is attached onto Celebi, which is used to retreat into Mewtwo, and we'll see an Ultra Ball here going for the Mega Mewtwo. And we would have to top deck some kind of a draw supporter to get us up, get ourselves out of this jumbled mess that we've found our way into. All right, there's a versus seeker. Oh, he's gonna do the job for us. Okay, thank you. That is much appreciated. And there's the Gorgeist. We get the Ultra Ball, which can get us the Area Dose. And we just need to find the Chaos Tower then after that. Alright, so there's a Rare Candy into... It is Gardevoir, so now that Psychic Energy provides two Psychics. So Psychic Infinity is accessible. And I believe that's only on his side of the field. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're, we're not that lucky. Our opponent's not that nice. So we're going to go ahead and bring this Pumpkaboo up. And we'll evolve into Gorgeist. And go ahead and play this one. And we'll go and find Ariados. 
and all right, we'll evolve into Ariados, and I don't think we have a Sycamore. We do have a Culrus, however. Drawing seven cards sounds good. A little better than six and giving our opponent a couple more cards. So we try to reach for that Stadium, which we do find. So we got the Stadium. We can go ahead and throw an Energy here. Max Elixir. There's another one. And then we can go ahead and throw that stadium down and into play. And then we'll use... Oh, he's going to have to discard something. Okay. We'll use Poisonous Nest to poison the Mewtwo. And then Spirit Scream to drop them both to 10 HP. And then Mewtwo will die from poison and we will claim our two prize cards. So we get an N and another Gorgeist. So the Gorgeist actually, that actually plays pretty well because we'll just be able to evolve our next Pump Gaboo and take another two prize knockout here. We do see a Psychic Energy go onto that Mewtwo and he can just uh, Shatter Shot us for a knockout here. So we're going to be pressed to find another Pump Gaboo. We do see Hoopa come down into play. And that searches for another Mega Mewtwo, so we'll see if he opts to Mega Evolve again, which he does. And I guess really, the, actually the scariest thing that could happen here is Ariados getting knocked out. So he's got a Trainer's Mail going on. And he grabs an N. Oh, I hope he doesn't play that, and we know he's going to. Yeah, that sucks. We had the... Gorgeist in hand, and, well, I guess now we just get to play a Culverse again. <laughs> That's fine. So we're going to get uh, Psychic Infinity here. Well, or, excuse me, I guess he just goes with a Shatter Shot. He does have the Celebi EX to make that possible. So we bring the Pumpkaboo up into the active spot. And let's see, we draw a Hex Maniac, which isn't helping us any. So we're going to go for another, let's see, probably a Colrus. Yep, no Sycamores in the discard pile. And let's see, how many Max Elixirs are we down? Just two. We'll go ahead and attach here. Oh, goodness. That's not, that's not what we want. And I don't think we can confuse him. Oh, yes, we can. Nice. Alright, so we will go ahead and Poisonous Nest. And then we will also inflict Confusion. Alright, so he's going to Versus Seeker here for a Skyla. And so if he's got like a Switch or something, he'd be able to go and take advantage of that. We see Skyla here. Probably should have brought the Ariados up, but don't. we wouldn't want to get Lysander. So he goes and grabs the escape rope. So it looks like he is going to take out our Ariados here. Switches into a Shaman, which just needs one energy or a Float Stone right there to retreat. And then we will see our Ariados get knocked out. So maybe we can go for a Lysander play here. Well... Yep, we do have Lysander in the discard, so we could try to Lysander up one of those Hoopas and try to make something happen that way. We draw into a Max Elixir. We do have teammates here that we could use as well, so I think actually we go that route. And we go grab Spinarak. And... I think we probably do try to grab the Gorgeist here. It's either that or we grab the Ariados. I guess we could just grab the Ariados here. I'm going to spin around now. We're going to grab the Pumpkaboo, actually. And go ahead and get another couple Pokemon down on the bench. Do a Max Elixir. Start getting energy on that uh, Pumpkaboo. And then we'll just do another Confuse Ray here. Okay, so we see a double colorless go on to the Mewtwo. And he pays the retreat cost, so he brings up the Shaman. 
Now, I don't really care what EXs we're knocking out, as long as we're knocking things out. The fact that he brought up the Shaman due to the Floatstone and not the Gardevoir is actually a pretty big deal. So we can go ahead and VS Seeker for the Colrus here and grab seven more cards. So try to draw into the Ariados and the Gorgeist. And we do get it. So we can go ahead and put Gorgeist into play. Computer search away these two cards to go find the area dose. We do have one more Gorgeist left in the deck. Go ahead and put area dose down. Attach energy over here. And we will Poisonous Nest. And then Spirit Scream to drop Shaman down to 10 HP. And then the Poison will knock it out and we will claim two more prize cards. We got a Psychic Energy and a Professor Sycamore. So we'll be awaiting the end down to two at this point as we try to find that last Gorgeist. We see another double colorless energy go on to Mewtwo and here is an Ultra Ball discarding Mewtwo and Mew EX. And he fails the search here, places a Shaman for a five card draw. And if that's the same Shaman he was holding when we get system, then it's been a while. We do see Skyfield get put into play. And quite frankly, don't really care if the poison knocks out our last Gorgeist because we would still win by one prize. So Shattershot happens. So we get knocked out that way, rather. So I think we're going to bring the area dose up here because we can attach an energy and then retreat it. And we draw into Super Scoop Up, which isn't really doing a whole lot. We'll go ahead and do that. We can put our Stadium down. And we're going to draw seven of our last 11 cards with this Professor Sycamore. And we do hit the Ultra Ball. We also just hit the Gorgeist straight up. So we can evolve into Gorgeist, Poisonous Nest once again, and then we will be able to retreat our Ariados for Gorgeist and Spirit Scream one more time. And once again, the Poison will take effect, winning us the game, and that is a scary, scary situation indeed. All of the puns, all of the bad jokes of the day as our Halloween deck takes us to a 2-0 expanded record against Mega Mewtwo X and Mega Mewtwo Y. So with Gorgeist Ariados, we are able to accomplish something pretty darn special. And so that's what we're going to do for today. And I am Heretic. Happy Halloween, everybody, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers.